Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video showing you my top five everyday nude eyeshadow palettes for brown skin. Now this I would also say the choices that I've made are definitely applicable to also deep and black skin tones as well. However, just because I've got brown skin and I don't want someone arguing with me because there's always one like how do you know you don't have that skin tone yet all right whatever so just for search purposes we're going to keep it to brown skin however i would actually say that pretty much all of these eyeshadow palettes maybe bar one will also work on very deep skin tones as well so i kept it to five and i've kept it to eyeshadow palettes which are still available now that are relatively new ish um, but they're easily accessible as well. Unfortunately, none of them are drugstore because I really wanted to keep it to my particular favourites. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And I also didn't have any uh, nude everyday eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore. So unfortunately, these are on the slightly pricier end. Or I'd probably say on more of the mid-range end, not Natasha Denona kind of prices. Also, when I say nude everyday kind of palettes... I'm talking about the classic old school nude, not everybody's new version nudes like Huda Beauty's Mauve, which is now her new nude, or whatever it is. We're talking about the classic browns, caramels, bronzes, champagne shades, you know, those kind of nude shades that women of colour love to use on a daily basis, that they can switch it up from daytime wear to nighttime wear to wedding wear to wedding day wear even for your wedding day a lot of brides love to use kind of more neutral colors and have more powerful shades on the lips etc so what i'll do is i will probably start off with the cheapest one not intentionally just because it happened to be right in front of me and that is the warrior palette by juvia's place and this all together contains nine shades and there is a mixture of mattes and shimmery buttery metallic shades now to be honest, there are only three matte shades, which means that this shade here called Kano tends to get a lot more love than other shades because not everybody wears this kind of charcoal brown on a daily basis. And this shade here called Ahossi is obviously just something that you can use to blend out other shades. Now, the majority of them are metallic -y shades, but oh my God, I love this palette so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this palette. Obviously, it's a favourites video. But also the fact that the quality is just so good. These are the kind of metallic shades that I love to use, that even though they are very buttery, thick, and incredibly pigmented and opaque, they can still be picked up on a brush and they can still be applied with a finger as well. So it's all down to the kind of intensity that you want. But this eyeshadow palette is absolutely amazing on brown and deep skin tones and I highly, highly recommend it. This next teeny tiny one here here is by Huda Beauty is her Topaz Obsessions ones. Now she has got other similar shaded ones but this is the one that I kind of felt that went best in terms of the whole nude everyday shade and would go best with medium, brown and deeper skin tones. They've got a few kind of orangey sort of browny shades, not completely caramel brown and there are beautiful shimmery shades in here as well. Again, the quality of the Huda Beauty eyeshadows in general is excellent. This retails at £25 for nine eyeshadows, which is on the pricier side, but generally I tend to be able to get them discounted. If like me, you shop from Feel Unique, which is a online store in the UK, which sells skincare, makeup and accessories. You can sign up for a brand to be your brand for life, mine is Huda Beauty, so I get a standard 10% off everything. Plus they have a loyalty system, depending on how much money you spend, you tend to get a five pound, 10 pound off vouchers. So I never actually end up spending the full amount on any Huda Beauty products at all. But I do love this palette. The metallic shades are really, really intense. They're beautiful colours as well. You've got kind of like a bronzy sort of shades and not your typical golds, which I love about this palette because obviously it's called Topaz. So that shade is kind of like not completely brown, not completely gold, not completely orange. It's somewhere kind of in the middle. And there is not a single shade in here which lets me down. This palette has always been a 10 out of 10 for me exactly the same reason as this. Actually, all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm showing you, I've reviewed all of them on my channel, so feel free to check them out. I think except this one, and they've all been given a 10 out of 10. Right, now we're upping it to the slightly more pricier ones. This one here is my newest eyeshadow palette, which you guys have hopefully seen my review on. It is the brand new Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. 
complexion inspired eyeshadow palette now out of all the ones that i have shown you today this is the one that i was talking about that i would say is probably the only one that i'm going to show which isn't the best for the very deeper skin tones but is definitely amazing on brown skin tones i'm actually using this on my eyes today i've used this to create this look i love this eyeshadow palette it costs about 34 35 pounds Altogether, there are 16 shades, and what I love the most about it is that every matte shade has a corresponding shimmery metallic shade underneath. So there's never any issue or any faffing about in the morning when you're getting ready for work for what matches what the quality of these are absolutely excellent the matte shades are really nicely pigmented easy to pick up on the brush they kick up a little bit of powder but not too much and then the metallic shades work best when they are applied with the finger that's exactly what i did today the i'm using the shade sparkling sand on my eyelid and i applied that with my finger as that is how they tend to apply a lot more intensely if you use a brush it's a little bit more sheer but i absolutely love this palette as an everyday palette this is definitely one that i would recommend everybody should have in their collection the next one is the urban decay naked honey eyeshadow palette this retails at 43 pounds but generally it tends to be on offer quite a lot even now as i'm looking on their website it's 34 pounds 40 on urban decay's website as i'm filming it on the 20 something of march that may change but who knows it's not brand new but it did come out towards the tail end of last year and you can generally get quite a good deal on it i love this eyeshadow palette because it is a typical nude palette but a little bit different it's like a nude palette with a kick of something else because you've got this brightened honey sort of shade which is actually called honey and then there's an olive green in here as well and then there are some more rosy-ish sort of colors similar to how there is in this eyeshadow palette there are 12 eyeshadows all together in here and there is a nice equal mix of mattes and shimmers each one of these shades performs beautifully these metallic shades can be picked up with a brush they work beautifully whether you use a brush or you use your finger this is another eyeshadow palette that i tend to reach for quite a lot when I go to work because there's no must there's no fuss these are very kind of daytime appropriate school appropriate as well the quality is excellent this is one of my favorite urban decay eyeshadow palettes I'm really happy that I got this it also comes with a brush okay the last one that I'm going to show you and probably the most expensive one actually is the most expensive one I just realized I've shown it to you in um price terms going from the lowest to the highest this is 46 pounds and this is the soft glam palette by anastasia beverly hills hands down one of the best eyeshadow palettes she's ever released and definitely hands down one that i know for a fact is probably one of the most popular eyeshadow palettes by her because it is basically a nude girl's dream it's absolutely stunning you've got beautiful shades in here this one also works amazingly on deep skin tones because despite the fact that there are quite a lot of brown shades there more on the deeper end so it tends to go for more deeper skin tones then you've got beautiful shimmery shades as well making it the kind of ideal palette that you can use for any occasion and the fact that there's an inclusion of a black is great as well so you can smoke out any kind of look the matte shades in here are known to be quite powdery and kick up a lot of powder but that's because they're pressed pigments rather than your atypical eyeshadows which basically means you have to go in with a very very light hand as they are intensely pigmented and they also kick up a lot of powder a little bit goes a really long way if you dig your brush in too much you will basically waste a lot of powder and it just won't work well you'll end up finishing this a lot quicker than is necessary now the metallic shades are incredibly buttery soft they're very similar to the warrior palette by juvia's place they are i find personally best applied with your finger but i tend to use my brush as well but i love the variety of shades in here as well whereas the others are quite samey samey in many kind of ways this one has also got an orange in here there's also a mauve in here there's also a kind of uh, well it's called mulberry a mulberry shade in here so it's a nice little different kind of eyeshadow palette but still your typical kind of everyday eyeshadow palette and it also also comes with a brush and I always like Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes that they give in eyeshadow palettes they're actually pretty good there's a fluffy blending brush on one end and then a more dense kind of packing on brush on the other end so that's it for my very quick video hope you guys enjoyed like comment make sure you subscribe please 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 if you've got any ideas for other people that will watch this video I love to always learn new things from you guys and see what else is on the market if you've got any other suggestions for other people that will see this video please mention it below just in case there are people who can't necessarily get their hands on these 
or are interested in something else because they already have these and they just love nude eyeshadows. Come on, we've all got friends like that, Selena. My friend Selena, you know, Miss Beauty Addict off YouTube. These are her like ideal shades. She loves nude eyeshadows. I think she's got all of them. And I know for a fact, this is her favorite, one of her favorite eyeshadow palettes. So on that note, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Hope you guys are wonderful and great and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.